Morning guys. Uh, Saturday the 24th. Well, it's 11 o'clock now. I've uh, been down here and all and I haven't done a bit. I haven't done nothing. I've uh, let the chickens out. Get one going to see. Uh, yeah, so I've just been showing one of the guys down here, the granddaughters, my chickens and that. I'll show you my main project because if you can see the sky, we have been having some really heavy, heavy rain. Lots of rain over the last few days, and it's mainly been tea time onwards. Yes, yeah, so I come down yesterday. I managed to get my slabs in, so I'm now going to box it off all the way around the slab area. And then I think I might membrane it, and I've got some great big pots which I'm going to put my tomato plants in this year, my cucumbers and my peppers. But I don't know the distance really apart. Whoever sort of 12 inches apart, I don't know. Uh, if I do a mistake, you guys can sort of help me out. Yeah, that's the main thing. My chickens, I decided to keep on like escape today. Uh, as you can see, with the rain we've had, the weed we've had, so much weed. But I come down and I've done a bit of weeding yesterday. I've got a little clip from my phone, if it's still on there. The bees got out over here the other day and they decided to swarm on uh, on some bushes. I don't know, I don't know if no bees, but they then started to divide. Apparently it divided to equal numbers are strange, but she got down here right quick and she got them in for us. Because everybody was a bit weary because they, they were flying about everywhere. Uh, yes, I've had my coffee. Jack over there. <laughs> right. I, I come down yes, I, I tied my board beans up because they were, they were piling over everywhere there. So heavy. So much well, vegetables on it. You see me uh, I'm gonna be sorry about the wind here. I'm trying to stop as best as possible. Uh, yes, these are my cabbages, I think the Brunswick cabbages are coming along lovely. They really are coming along. But my onions are my, these are my Shakespeare. I don't know whether you can see them. I, I'm so chuffed with them and my red onions. I'm really, really so chuffed with them. I can't believe it. Uh, these are Japanese ones, but I'm not, not, not impressed with them. So I don't think I will grow them anymore. I'm sorry for the wind, as you can see. I put my pumpkin in the other day and they're absolutely loving it, going ballistic. I've got a major weed to do of the whole plot but it's uh, so wet I can't do nothing. I'll just point it this way. As you can see, a wood chip pile, they're slowly taking it away from me. People slowly wanted to put around the backs and sides of, that, of the greenhouse. So that's looking good. My new lawnmower worked fantastic, Cobra, Briggs and Stratton engine, uh, that was from Cheap Mars, uh, I was impressed, they got it to me in two days after a little bit of a mix up with not having one, uh, yes that done the job good so that's all looking good, right guys I will uh, turn this off and try and do some work. Okay guys, uh, just another on clip today, as you can hear the wind's up. Right, there's me, uh, my plan. 20 tubs. Now, now I'm going to ask you a question, guys. What do you think? Do I cut the membrane and bury them half in, or do I just fill them and leave them as it is? I think they're looking quite good. That's tough. The probably why I'm out of breath here. It's actually 29 degrees in here, got the door open, the window's open, that's so hot, oh, it's lovely. Uh, yeah, guys, please. Uh, I'll try and get this up as soon as possible. So I, you, you can give me uh, comments on it, but I probably won't fill it up now until Monday. I've got to uh, babysit tonight, do these again. Uh, chicken clean out tomorrow. Marigolds go in. I seem to be forgetting quite a bit. My marigolds there to go in. Sorry about that trying to stop the wind. Alright, what I'm now going to do is put my chickens away. Quick tour. 
all this lot's got to go out. I've got tons of onions to go out to replace the ones I start pulling soon. Uh, next door, Jane, she's got, uh, might be our future son in law, but she's really got to grips with what they have because there's a, a walk around tomorrow and quite a few letters are apparently going to go out. Strawberries have gone through with all this rain we've had, so it'll be nice to try and get them in one of them beds. Sweet corn's coming alive, lovely. Uh, and my pumpkins down in here, they're absolutely fleeing, or flying. Yeah, I've got flowers on over there. Sorry about the wind, sorry about the wind. Uh, I need to get myself some more parsnips in. And peas are coming along okay. I've got loads of peas to go on another one, so I'm gonna have to do it. Got some more dwarf French beans to come in. I'm ready, getting ready. Uh, Bob's just come down. You see, he had a pot, that's his first year with a polytel. Last year he, he didn't, he grew a lot of things, but they didn't grow, if you understand what I mean. This year, <laughs> he's absolutely <laughs> snowed under everything. Chilies, cucumbers, like, I thought I'd gone over the top with lots. Right, guys. Yes, lovely, lovely down the East Coast at the moment. It really is. I'm now gonna put the chickens away. I'm gonna go home. I will probably uh, get the dinner sorted out and have a lay down before the girls come and wind me up and wear me out. Okay guys, I nice to speak to you all. There we go guys, got a swarm of bees out. Everybody's taking a run off the floor. <laughs> yes, you know. <laughs> One hive and they've all come and decided to come out. Well, they Right. There you see. One swarm of bees, all ready to sting. <laughs>